So yeah, it's time to make another tier list. Hey, hello everybody, it's Ultron here and we are back into making a tier list of Library of Ruina. As you can see, there are a lot of already ranked Dramology pages and those are the pages of the lower floors of this game. Now we have to rank the, the pages of the middle floors, that means that we will be ranking pages up until the CDX flash right here, everything else will be ranked in the third video. Uh, yes, I have uh, gone and put uh, Spin Genesis in Object Dot just because I wouldn't want it to disgrace a second video just being on the screen in hardcover tier. And another disclaimer that I have to make is that I am not going to put Tiffers Exodia pages just uh, high just because they are Tiffers Exodia pages. As general representation of that strategy, I will put Nihil in Object Dart tier. So I know that Tiffers Exodia is here, but everything else will be ranked as if it if it was on its own. So I won't give hate and insane rating because it. It doesn't deserve this, right? Now the next, the next page is a road walk together. If an ally reacts an attack that was initially targeting this character, dice on the ally's page, gain 1 to 2 power in the clash. I kind of like this page. It is a very interesting page because uh, instead of uh, upgrading the librarian, it creates everyone except the librarian you select. So if you are fighting something with an AI similar to index proxies, oh, I mean proselytes, that only attacks one of your librarians, it might be a great idea to put it in somebody so everyone else gets out of power. All in all, it is a pretty strong page with no drawbacks, so I would put it in high headcount tier. Uh, back to Tiffus Law, we have a page that is called Intemperance, as far as I remember. Let me quickly check. No, it is Road to Happiness. Gain 1 endurance uh, for every clash won in a scene, up to 3 per scene. It is a very nice page for, uh, for tankers. If you're making a tank in your team, you want to give a road to happiness to them, if you're not building Exodia as it is. And yeah, really, the fact that Exodia exists is the only thing that makes this page a bit worse, because it's basically outclassed by everything else. But yeah, if you want to use purple, uh, purple tier block stands on Tifra's floor, you can give her road to happiness and just see your endurance levels break the roof. That's definitely a limited page, we have to figure out where to put it though. I put it somewhere um, here, I think about alertness, maybe higher. I don't exactly remember what the other pages do because it was quite a long time that I've made the first tier list, but I think I wrote the happiness deserves somewhere here. And next page is also from King Greed, it is Greed. Greed is a tier 2 uh, breakdown page, and in a clash, if the winner's dice roll is greater than the loser's by 4 or higher, the, the loser takes 3 to 7 bonus damage and the winner recovers 2 to 5 HP. Both the librarian and their opponent can, can activate this effect. So it is an innocent page, because it has the ability to kill your allies, but if you use it smartly enough, you can get a lot of usage out of it. I like this page a lot, even without Tifra's Exodia, and it is a part of Tifra's Exodia too. I'd put it at low limited, because it has the ability to kill the user, but the ability is not too high, but if the enemy is rolling incredible dice, you probably shouldn't use it, so it is very situational, I would put it in somewhere low limited. Probably just under happy memories. Uh, now Fear of Water is a page that I really don't like at all. It uh, has a nice synergy with another abnormality page, but as I said already, we won't be counting in synergies, and that means that Fear of Water is not that great and won't be placed too high. Lose 2 to 6 HP when playing an offensive die, deal 3 to 7 additional damage with attacks and inflict 1 bleed on hit. It is a very nice page when you want to inflict damage, but you lose 2 to 6 HP every time you play an offensive die, which is a lot. You can literally lose much more HP than you deal on damage, but you do stack bleed and in the end this is the best glass cannon page that is in the game, though it does kill the user really quickly. I'd put it somewhere in low paperback just because it is incredibly difficult to sustain. 
even mind, uh, even health hollow won't help you at all because it is 2 to 6 HP and the lowest roll of 2 is exactly what health hollow might give you back. I'd put it somewhere in the purple book tier once again, probably about somewhere close to Samus Bullet. Uh, Justice. Justice is a very interesting page because I really don't think you would use it at all. Because it is kind of... It is it is a good page, but it is outclassed by other pages in the tier 1 of Tifa's floor. The enemy who dealt the most damage to allies in the in the previous scene is marked as villain. Deal 3 to 5 additional damage when taking the villain. You can stack a lot of damage on a boss, but uh, you'd probably go for something else on tier 1. Like Love, which is a great page. Or even Hate, maybe. But I don't think why you would even take Hate without Tifa's Exodia. So Justice is just outclassed, meaning that it won't place higher than hardcover tier, but it is still a nice page, I wouldn't call it bad. It is just a bit weaker than everything else. I put it right over Chain Dress, because it doesn't have any drawbacks, really. And now this is Intemperance, that's for sure. Intemperance is a tier 2 page that works like this. If the first die of a page wins the clash, destroy all remaining dice on the opponent's page at a 25% chance, which is strong, like really strong. If you're running a lot of pages that have a single strong die at the start of them, or like running a single strike build, Intemperance can really help you a lot by destroying all other dice on the enemy's page. So I'd put Intemperance somewhere pretty high, probably in limited tier, because it is a strong page. Somewhere close to a Red of Happiness, probably. Not as strong as the pages of Funeral of the Butterflies, but about the same level. Okay, love time. It's time we're actually going to bad pages. Like, really bad pages. Because Laughter, I think, is probably the worst page on, Ge on Gebor's floor. And it works like this. It is used on a single ally, and when the librarian takes a hit, while their HP is at 25% or lower, a screech bursts out at a 50% chance, up to twice per scene. The screech deals 2 to, two to 10 stagger damage to all characters other than the, this librarian, and all characters are inflicted with one of the following statuses next scene 3 feeble, 3 disarm, 3 bind, or 3 fragile. It seems to be a very nice debuffing page, right? But it works on your allies too, as well at on as it only procs at 25% HP or lower. So that means that really the only time you you'll be you'll feel fine using it is when you use Eugen, and without that, really you probably don't want to run laughter. I put it in burn because it does kill your allies pretty quickly and. It is also way outclassed by us and tier 2 pages on Gebra's floor, because she has a lot of them. Now, once again we have a page from, from Gebra's floor, and this time it is a pretty nice page, Instincts. A page that I take a lot on Gebra's floor, because it is one of those pages that recover HP. Each time the selected librarian wins a clash, the last day of the current page gains 1 to 2 power. Recover 3 to 7 HP on a successful hit with that final die. If you're running Thompson like Dimentary Impact, well that's a bad example, it has a last evade die, but if you're running any page that has uh, 3 or 4 dice with the last one of them being an offensive die, you can recover 3 to 7 HP pretty much each time you use that page, and if you win a lot of clashes you can deal a lot of damage with that last die. In conjunction with another page from Gabriel's Floor, you can make that final die incredible, but as far as it, well, I mean, as I already said, we won't be counting in any synergies, so it doesn't go into object dot, but it is still limited in my opinion, because it is a tier 1 page, which is pretty easy to use, it has no drawbacks, and it has a very strong ability that helps you a lot. I'd put it somewhere around Gluttony, I think it's called Gluttony. Now I finally go to Chizet's floor, we haven't seen a lot of that. This page is called False Present. Librarians randomly gain one of the following Liquid Courage, Silk Sack of, of Sawdust, Heart of Lead, Hunk that cannot be reached, and Transformation. No effect is given to two librarians at once. The effect persists for the rest of the reception. 
So, a while back, when I first uh, completed Shizet's floor re realization, uh, someone in my comment section told me what the actual uh, boss from this page are, and they didn't seem too great. They all had a very strong positive side, but also a big drawback that made them a bit less usable. And the problem is, of course, it is a, three, a tier 3 page, and a tier 3 that has a much, be a much better page, as well as tier 3 pages always tend to be generally strong without any drawbacks, unlike false present, which isn't that great knowing that it, is, it balances itself out with its negative sides. I put it somewhere in hard cover tier because it's not like paperback, but it is very much outclassed, so I put it somewhere around Dark Flame, which is also outclassed. Now another page from the same normality, which is the adult who flies, and this one is Emerald. Add an emerald page to hand. Cost 5 on play target enemy. Cancel 2 random combat pages on the target speed dice. Recall 1 byte for each successful hit on the target with the scene. Up to twice. The page is also included in the deck at the start of subsequent, uh, subsequent acts. So... Emerald is actually pretty interesting. Uh, as far as I remember, it is a tier 3. Making it a bit worse. But... Still, for 5 cost, just deleting 2 dice of the enemy is very strong, as well as recovering up to 2 light in the scene, which makes that 5 cost a bit more manageable. I like Emerald a lot, while not having used it at all, so take my comments on it with a grain of salt, but I still think it is pretty nice. I'd put it somewhere in limited, or knowing that it is outclassed, somewhere in hardcover. Probably just over justice. Another outclassed page. Shell. Nullify stagger damage. Do I need to say more? Bo? It just... it nullifies stagger damage. You don't take stagger damage. The only drawback of Shell that doesn't give it the complete object that best page tier is uh, the fact that it doesn't work on Gebra's self-staggering ability of Red Mist. Meaning that if you don't deal 40 or more damage in a single scene, you will take stagger damage, and Setless Shell does not nullify that, and if it did, it would be just broken, but it doesn't. Love. Love is actually a page I really like. Like, it's a very nice page if you're not running Exodia. After winning a clash using defensive die, a random ally recovers 3 to 5 HP. After, using a after winning a clash using a defensive die, a random ally recovers 2 to 4 stagger resistance. It is really good. I enjoy this page a lot because it gives you a lot of sustainability to your entire team. Sadly it is at random, but it does recover both HP and stack resistance, and if you have a really strong clasher, you might want to put love on them so they can also heal your entire team. But that I, I think I'd put love somewhere in the limited tier, because it's not exactly object that but it is very strong, and it is the, the page that I told you outclasses other pages in Tifus. Um, Tier 1. Somewhere around incomprehensible because I really like this page. I might be overestimating it, but I have enjoyed this page's uh, ability for a long time, so I would put it pretty high. Uh, back to Shazet's floor with Empty Heart. I think that's name. Nope, it's Lumber. I mixed it up. When taking a target that has more lights than the librarian, offensive dice gain power equal to the amount of lights the target has, up to 2. It seems to be very nice, but sadly, most bosses and enemies have low light amounts and just the ability shimmering that doesn't even need any light to work. So really, you won't get too much usage out of it, even though it seems to be very strong. So on paper it is a great page, while in actuality it pales in comparison to many other pages of Shazet. Though I still put it somewhere in hardcover tier, because it is by no means a bad page. You can take it and get usage out of it if you are at low light all the time, but many enemies have low max light and just don't get it upgraded because they don't get emotion levels and just have shimmering so they can cast whatever they want. 
Uh, that means this right there without quest pages probably aren't the chain dress and as a f and really as I think more of that I think justice is also under chain dress just because of one statue with chain dress that I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, magical girls, back to Tifa's I guess. It is a tier two page from Just of Nihil, meaning that it is a fusion reality page which is tier two and those tend to be pretty interesting. Four unique Magical Girls pages are shuffled into the deck, while all four Magical Girl pages are in the hand, the Alberian gains, uh, gains 1 to 2 strength she's seen and is not affected by Feeble, Disarm or Bind. It's pretty cool. I feel like the Feeble, Disarm or Bind uh, on a faction is meant to be used uh, alongside Nihil or another Alberian. Wait, no, it, it, no. That's not how it works. You have to have all four pages before that on the initial person. So yeah, that doesn't work like I thought it does. But it still is a interesting page. Uh, that given one to two strengths is pretty nice, and not being affected by feeble design or bind is also pretty nice. Bind is actually not as uncommon as you might think. So having an immunity to that is pretty nice. Do you have to? have all four Magical Girl pages in hand for, in order to for that to work, so yeah. Actually haven't used this at all, so don't judge me too hard, because the main thing is that I don't know what the Magical, top, uh, magical Girl pages are. Uh, anyhow, I put it somewhere in the limited tier, in low limited tier though. Maybe in high hat cover, yeah. I put it in high hat cover, high cover is probably the tier where everything is outclassed. I'd put it somewhere here, but you might think of it as low limited. Uh, now back to Adel Hotel Slice. As far as I remember, this is magic trick, right? Yep, it is magic trick. Add a magic trick, uh, add a magic trick page to hand. Cost four and play reduce the cost of all pages in hand to zero. The cost is reset to the value before this effect was applied on use. The page is also included in the deck of at the start of the symbol X. This page is definitely limited to object data, that's for sure. It is a tier 2 page from a uh, 1500 mility as far as I remember. I'm pretty sure that's the case, yeah it is probably the case. And the biggest thing that strikes me about this page is that it doesn't just lower the cost of all of your pages to zero for one scene, it lowers it until they're used. So if you have a really strong page draw deck, you can just get low on light, use magic trick for your remaining full light, and then with your entire hand, uh, entire deck in hand, you can just uh, demolish enemies uh, with your zero cost strong pages. So it has a lot of potential in my opinion, and you would probably want to run it if you're running like a solo build of ZZ that requires a lot of high cost uh, counter die pages, so yeah, that's definitely a limited, somewhere probably wouldn't put it, well no, I probably would, somewhere around, like probably under love, just because love is a no brainer that you don't even have to think about, well, magic trick really requires some sort to put into it. A uh, mountain of corpses. Okay, probably my favorite page of Gibor's flow. I'm lying; it's not. But still, it is a very strong page nonetheless. Uh, it is a tier two page, and all librarians except the selected one are immediately killed when this page is chosen. The selected librarian gains max light capacity, light restoration, strength, protection, and haste proportional to the number of librarians killed for the rest of the battle. This is a very nice solo page, and as as you all know, Deborah's page has Red Mist's uh, key page, which is probably the best page for soloing. As you can stack a lot of strengths, and with Mountain of Corpses you can stack even more strengths, as well as protection and haste, and basically it gives you infinite light, which is also pretty nice if you ask me. So Mountain of Corpses is definitely object dot, which has have to figure it out, uh, figure out where to put it. I don't know if this higher or lower than Prince, than Prince Genesis, I think it is higher because it is much easier to sustain. Just let your parents live until you get into emo 2, use it 
as quickly as possible, everyone's dead, and you have a very strong Gebra. Uh, another Gebra page flow, uh, Gebra flow page, uh, which is... Give me a second. Pray, yeah. Mark the first enemy that is attacked by this librarian after the page is selected. Deal 2 to 6 additional damage when attacking the marked foe. Uh, it's really nice on bosses, I guess. It is kind of outclassed, I think, by the wolf's pages. But you can get it before the wolf, but you're probably not going to use Gibber's Flow at that point in the game. 2 to 6 addi additional damage is also pretty nice. And really, it is like the mark on Nikolai, so if you're putting it on Nikolai, Page, you can just double mark an enemy and then demolish them with additional damage. So I think it's not a bad page, just a bit outclassed, so it goes in hard cover tier somewhere around chain dress, probably under it. Uh, oblivion. Pro I'm pretty sure it's Oblivion, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Add an Oblivion page to hand, cost 3 on play exhaust. Imo Immobilized for the scene, cannot be targeted, at the end of the scene, recover 40% of max HP and full restore light. What can I say to you? It is great. You can recover a lot of HP and basically you get one, one of your brains out for one turn in, and in response to that you get 40% of max HP, max 48 by the way. And next scene, which is pretty nice, because if you're running low in HP, you might want to take Oblivion, just heal up somebody, and be on your way to victory. Especially if you're running Courage, which requires you to have as many people alive as possible. So yeah, Oblivion is kind of a good page, I really enjoy it myself. I don't know how it fares in comparison to other pages of Chz on tier 2. But I think it is still pretty nice. There aren't many incredible tier 2 pages on Chz as far as I remember. Uh, I'd put it somewhere around here and limited because it is strong. It is not incredibly busted, but it is very strong. Now, my favorite Chz tier 3 page. This is Powder of Life. And I like it for two reasons. First of all, it's fucking strong. Second of all, it ties nicely with the welfare team abilities of Chz in the first game of Botanic Corporation. So yeah, it is an all allies page that looks like this. When a librarian takes lethal damage, nullify it and recover 20% of max HP. Can only activate once per reception, maximum 24 HP, of course. It is a breakdown page and there are two points that I want to make here. First off, it is a very strong page that gives you the ability to recover HP. Uh, when taking a little blow, meaning that you can live for a much longer time. The other thing is that it is, it is an all allies breakdown page, which means that if you just use it on emo level, uh, emo level 3, well I mean emo level 5, but I mean emo tier 3, and if you have Yan in your team, he'll just get one power from that, if you haven't put anything else on him before that. And you probably have put courage on him before that, so it will give him one additional damage and stagger damage for every attack he does. Which is great. I really think that Powder of Life synchronizes well with Yan and on, it, on its own it is also a very strong page. Compared to other tier 3 pages of Chizet's Flow it is much better in my opinion because it, is, it doesn't require you to think before using it and it just gives you a neutral ability to revive upon dying. Uh, that's definitely very strong, I don't know if it is stronger than Coffin, but it's probably up there with Mountain of Corpses. <laughs> no, I think I'd put it under the solo synergies, but it is still a very strong object that page. Uh, now we have a page which is Harvest. After attacking an enemy with a higher amount of stagger resistance, deal 2-4 to additional stagger damage and recover 2-5 stagger resist. I think it's pretty nice. It is really nice if you want to use Chizet's Flow against Xiao, uh, and it is very bad if you want to use Chizet's Flow against Yan, which I did, so I just couldn't use Harvest at all. Uh, really, it is 
kind of a nice page if you want sustainability for your stagger resistance and not that many enemies have a lot of stagger resistance really so you want to be on the lookout for that because many of them have low stagger resistance but really high uh, endurance to the to stagger resistances or to stagger so they don't get staggered as easily uh, in the end it's still a pretty nice page just a bit outclassed, so I put it in hard cover tier with all the other pages. It is still very strong, I put it in high hard cover tier, but definitely not limited because, yeah. I will just set everything. Uh, Blessing. Blessing is a page that you don't want to take. I mean, resistances against the type the key page is weakest be to become fatal. Resistances against all other types become endured. If two or more types are tied, one then will determined. So, yeah, do you really want to get one fatal type in, and then two endurance? Like, it's not worth it, right? Only if the enemy only uses one type of dice, but I don't think there are such enemies in the game. Well, they might, they might be, uh, uh, the fuck, what did I just say? They might be some of those enemies, but uh, there aren't a lot of them and you probably wouldn't use Chizet's flow on that because they would probably be in the start of the game. So yeah, Blessing is just weak. I'm putting it in Burnt because Burnt tier is pretty lonely here, there's only three pages before this. Also, if you really want to take a tier 1 Break down the page, just use hate or despair. Much better than blessing. Clause of Savagery. It's actually actually a pretty nice page that I enjoy a lot. When I lose clashes, of course. <laughs> At the librarians, things damage greater than 25% of their max HP become targetable and clashable max scene. The librarian gains two strengths to that scene and inflicts one lead with each successful attack. Basically, it gives you a scene to take a breath on one of your brains and just inflict a lot of bleed and deal damage pretty strong and when playing solo gabara uh, it can give you a quick start uh, with a lot of strengths and bleed effects still it is kind of outclassed by other t tier one pages and if you don't plan on Losing lots of clashes on the first scene, you probably will take any of the Awakening pages instead of this breakdown one. So yeah, it is it, it's going into hardcover tier, it's somewhere pretty low, I think I don't like it as much when I'm not playing against Don Juan with Gibura. <laughs> That's probably the only time I actually enjoyed this page a lot, and without that, yeah. It is outclassed, but it can give you an edge above the enemy at some point. Now this is the page that actually outclasses other tier 1 pages, the Roll of the Wolf. Counter dice gain 1 to 2 power, counter dice inflict 2 fragile upon winning the clash. 2 fragile is better than 1 to 2 fragile, 1 to 2 power is not that great but it is still something. It is affecting counter dice on Gabriel's floor. Yeah, you started to connect the dogs to connect the dogs too. And just tier 1. Yeah, it's strong. It's really strong, Gabra. Uh, definitely alongside Instincts, it is one one of my no-brainer picks for Gabra's floor, and I don't want to give it object dart, so I'll just put it somewhere high in limited tier. I just enjoy this page a lot. It's very strong. Uh, Companion. Companion is a page that is dropped by throwing to res and it works like this single ally when there is no companion present the first enemy the selected librarian attacks is marked as a companion when the selected librarian defeats the companion all librarians restore 3 light and recover 10 hp and stack resistance i am not going to lie to you i do not like this page at all and i don't know why they'd made they'd make the pages of Servant of Rest so weird, like most of them, but I don't think it is great for the only reason that is 
there's, there are a lot of boss fights in the game that make you fight against one or two really strong enemies instead of lots of smaller enemies. Because if you're fighting like Hana Station, yeah, you can take companion and just kill a single enemy and recover a lot of HP, life, stagger distance on all of the team. But I think I think it isn't that great. And also on uh, the Oswald fight, which is Tifra's Reverb Ensemble fight, it's also not that great because yes, there are two weaker enemies in the fight alongside Oswald, who is the boss, but I still think it's not that great here. It is also outclassed by other tier 2 pages, so I would put it somewhere in hardcover tier. By no means a bad page, it has no drawbacks, but it is outclassed, so I'd put it somewhere low. Uh, courage, yeah, courage, so about that, um, sure, okay, courage. Okay, I'll read its effect out to you, so you understand what I mean by just putting it here. Uh, at the start of the scene, gain strength and protection equal to the number of allies currently alive, substituted by 2. If the value is less than 0, feeble and fragile will be inflicted and set. So basically, you get two strengths to protection inside of the scene. If you put it in Yon, you get three strengths to protection inside of the scene. It's just strong. I don't know if it stacks with Mirune. If it stacks with Mirune, it's even better. But Courage is one of the strongest tier 1 pages in the entire game, if not the strongest one. So it's definitely deserving of that object guard tier. And now we have to go back to Gebra's floor and the page Crimson Scar. It is a tier 2 page, and it is probably the first tier 2 page on Gabriel's floor, yeah it is. Is the brain's HP is at 50% lower, gain 1 strength 16. I, I mean, if you're dying, you get 1 strength. That's it. Really, I don't enjoy this page as much as other pages, because I think there is a definitive combo of pages on Gabriel tier 2, and Crimson Scar isn't a part of that. You can get usage out of it, but I don't think it is that great. It will go with all the other outclass pages in hardcover tier. Now this is an empty hut. Uh, I mean, just hut. After dealing 15 or more damage to enemies in a single scene, reduce the cost of the two more sprints pages in hand by one. On kill, reduce the cost to zero instead. The cost of those combat pages is reset to the value before this effect was applied on use. It is pretty nice. Reducing the cost of expensive pages is always welcome, and on kill, reducing it to zero is even better. Uh, you're not going to kill a lot, I think, at the end of the game, but you also don't get this. Uh, this abnormality at the end of the game, so you can get some usage out of the page. I personally don't think it is that great on the page, but still, one less life for like some meme page of uh, a giant cost is pretty nice. I'd put it somewhere in high hat cover tier. I don't think it is low limited, but this high hat cover tier, that's for sure. It has no drawbacks and it's not that cut class, I think. Now we have Despair. Despair is a part of Tifra's Exodia and it is a T1 breakdown page. Whenever an ally dies, all allies gain 1 to 3 strengths and haste, and all enemies gain 2 fragile. I mean, it is kind of like a better remembrance, I guess. I mean,. Kind of, yeah. If you kill all of your allies in the same scene using Blind Rage when building Exodia, you can just get lots of strengths, I guess. But outside of that, the page itself is not that great. I wouldn't put it too high up. Not exactly paperback, I'm not sure when putting pages there, but I think it is just with all the other outclass pages, and the only time you'll be actually using this page is when you're building Exodia, because it is basically needed. And another 
Exodia page of hate. It works like this. After losing the clash, take 3 of your stack damage and gain 1 strength next scene, up to 3 per scene. After losing 3 clashes, reduce the cost of the most expensive page in hand by 1. It's not a bad page. It's not bad. It's not bad. But you're probably not going to use it outside of Exodia, because... 2 to 4 stacker damage. I really thought that there are more, but there isn't. So, you can kind of outweigh it with Mind Hauler. Uh, but if you get very unlucky on clashes, you might not. Also, the reduce the cost of the most expensive page in hand by 1 is pretty useful. It is only once per scene, but I think it is very nice in the end. I would put hate somewhere in limited tier, somewhere is in very low limited tier that is. Probably just about funny prank. Hello. Hello is a page uh, of Gabra's Floor, which is a tier 3 page from nothing there. Each scene, the first day of the page recovers HP equal to the amount of damage it dealt. The biggest thing I want you to, to remember about this page is that it scales of damage you dealt and not the modified roll, which is great, because Gebra capitalizes greatly of stacking strengths, and with strengths, of course, you deal a, a lot more damage. So, recovering HP is great, that's um, always a given, but on Gebra it is even better, because Gebra cannot use abnormality egos. Uh, ego pages. And one of the ego pages on that floor is Mimicry, with, which recovers you a lot of HP. Uh, well, it kind of works like Hello, but it also has an incredible role. So, yeah. It is kind of a Mimicry for Gebra, I guess, if you want to use it. Over goodbye. Uh, I think it is a very strong page, probably limited tier. Oh no, I. <laughs> clicked it, so they will be underlined for the rest of the video, and now it is still limited. Probably even about Lament and all that. Third chapter in the tears. Another meme page of Tifra's floor, and Tifra's is kind of the memeiest page, uh, memeiest floor of all, I guess, because on a successful pierce attack, if the dial max value deal bonus damage equal to 10% of the target's max HP, maximum 12. Uh, I've been exposed to a strategy using this page, which is using trash disposal with 12 fixers, giving the ability to deal incredible amounts of damage each time the last die rerolls and hits. I think it is a nice page, and you might uh, run it over Justice uh, on the tier 1 Tifras and on site Love. I put it somewhere in limited tier because it is a very strong meme page and that trash disposal strategy is also pretty funny to me. I put it just over the healing pages here. Uh, now back to Gisette's floor and his abnormality of Ozma. We have Power of the Past. Power of the Past is a very weird page in my opinion because it increases the cost of combat pages by 1. All dice gain 3 to 4 power. 3 to 4 power is insane, and you might think that it is just a great, a great page because with one additional cost it, it's not that much, right? The problem is that many pages have a net positive of 1 light when used, and I mean the pages that recover light on use or on hit. That's bad because if they start costing one light more, they bring you a net positive of zero. It, they just don't give you light. So you have no ability to recover light with that, and that will kill you very quickly. If you find a way to walk around that, sure, it can be very useful. Especially with the new reverb ensemble combat pages, Oswald has a page that gives you a net positive of 2 light, meaning that it will still recover light when used with power of the past. Uh, but outside of that, you probably don't want to use power of, the, power of the past too much. It will go here, where all the other outclass pages stand. And we don't go 
and we don't go too far away from GZ, because now we have home. Home works like this. As started the scene, number targets are placed on up to 3 enemies. Every time a target is attacked in the correct order, increase the outgoing damage by 2 for the scene. I don't think there, there ever is a time in the fight when you really just wish to have home. It's not a page that you would really want to use and it is not viable on boss fights and overall it is kind of bad in comparison to everything else that Shizet has to offer. It is somewhere in the outclass pages but really lower than everything else because it is a weak page by itself as well. Probably under Dark Flame. Our rake. After staggering an enemy, copy two, pa two pages owned by that enemy and add them to the librarian's head, a hand with still less cost. Period. The copied pages are exhausted on use. Can only copy melee pages for equipment and melee only page, and vice versa. So, it is kind of a cool page because it copies upon staggering and they cost two less light, which is much better than one light. And I feel like at some point it was one light, maybe I was just missing something, but it is definitely too light now. And it is very nice on the ensemble fight of Shiz that I already practiced just a bit. And the fact that it works on staggering and not on kill makes it even more viable for that fight and for any fight in general, because it is much easier to stagger an enemy than it is to kill them. In most scenarios, not all of them. I'd put Rake somewhere in low limited tier because you won't take it every day, but it is still a pretty nice page that can give you strong pages of the enemies, because the enemies tend to have stronger pages than the player. Another page of the Scary Construction for Wisdom, Turn of Wisdom. Whenever the librarian uses a page, discard a random page from hand and restore one light. I don't like this page. Page discarding is not something that I enjoy a lot, and Really, it will quickly just get rid of all pages in your deck, and I don't think you should ever play Tone of Wisdom. Unless you have a, a deck that is revolving solely around just, uh, I guess, drawing pages. Or maybe if you're running a discard deck, you probably can do something with that too. But I don't think you're running a discard deck while using Tone of Wisdom. So, yeah. Probably burn tier. If I'm missing something, please tell me. But I don't think I'm. I am. Yeah. It is just a pretty weak page, overall. Now, vampirism is an opposite of a weak page because it's incredibly strong. If the target has more HP than the librarian, deal two to four bonus damage and inflict one bleed on successful attack. Heal two to five HP upon attacking a target with bleed. And you know what I said about uh, enemies that have more staggered than you when I was talking about Harvest. Yes, it, it was a bad proc condition. But HP is something that the enemies always have more of, because they tend to have lower numbers of enemies, but every enemy has a lot more HP than your librarians. And that HP recovery is also great. Uh, the bleed effect is pretty strong too, and if you run in Fear of Water alongside Vampirism, Vampirism can kind of justifies the use of fear of water but i don't think you should take rid of fear of water in anyway but even without that vampirism is just great you can stack damage you can stack bleed you can heal yourself just basically a perfect tier 2 page that outclasses everything else i'd put it somewhere in limited or object dot tier i enjoy it a lot so i think i put it somewhere in object dot tier just above metallic ringing Please, thank you. Another page of Nosferatu, which is Wine. The Cyber Librarian takes damage equal to 80% of the current HP. All other allies recover HP by the amount of damage dealt split equally between them. I don't enjoy this page at all. You don't use it on Solo Gebera. You really don't want to use it at all, because like why would you take that much HP from one librarian to recover to all other people? You're just killing one librarian, and it is easier to sustain a team that is slowly draining health on everyone at the same time instead of 
one guy dying and everyone else living with full HP. So I think wild definitely a page that you won't take at all and it is a tier 2 page and it is outclassed in tier 2 as well, even if it wasn't dog shit at the start. Res. Res is probably the worst page that is needed to um, use Tifus Exodia because the select librarian enters a state of res. The librarian will become uncontrollable and target random characters, including allies. Also, the librarian gains two strengths, restores two light, and draws two more pages each scene. So, it gives you the best buff when using Exodia, really. All the buff from this page is much more valuable than from the, all the other pages. But without Exodia, you're not taking it at all. Period. There is no where you are going to take rest and actually think that this, it is a good page. And, you know, the only thing that fortifies my point here is the fact that Fervent Adoration is a debuff, not a buff. For a reason. Because you'll be hitting your allies much more than you'll be hitting your enemies. That's definitely going into paperback tier, just because it has a slim chance of actually working really well and I just cannot un <laughs> overlook the Exodia above it, it gives you here. Though I did say I won't even put the Exodia, abo uh, Exodia above as a part of the great, I guess. But still, I mean, it's a bad page. If you don't run Exodia, you won't take rest. If you run Exodia, you will take rest and you'll be happy about it. Goodbye is a pretty cool page. I like Goodbye a lot. It doubles the power of the last die Zobrian prays each scene. If your Gabra only uses the Mastic page Great Spirit Horizontal with Goodbye, you just deal like 80 to 100 damage to all enemies. It's great. Why wouldn't you take goodbye? Because shell exists. And that's the only thing that makes goodbye not the best page. Just under shell. It is a very strong page nonetheless. And I highly recommend using it when you also use Mountain of Corpses. Because you can just stack up lots of damage. But that is if you're brave. If you're not, just take shell and be safe. Another page of Chz, which is a warm heart. At the start of the scene, boost the power of offensive die dice by 1 to 2 is your brain has 3 or more light. I enjoy this page a lot. 1 to 2 power just to all offensive die dice because you have 3 or more light is great. And you're probably gonna have 3 or more light because if you're getting under that, you don't have the best light recovery in your deck. So I'd put even heart really high here, probably somewhere in limited tier, in high limited tier, because just strength from nothing is always great. Uh, now absorption. Absorption is a page that actually got nerfed because it was too strong when it actually was released. For the duration of the act, recover 20% of max HP, maximum 20, upon defeating an enemy. At the start of the scene, gain what against strengths based on the amount of HP the brain has recovered this act. One strength per 10% of max HP healed, maximum 3. Before that, it didn't have a maximum cap of strengths, meaning that you could just stack strengths as much as you wanted. Now it has a cap of 3, which makes it not that incredibly strong. And you also might think that it is not as good in my opinion, because I've stated my opinion that killing an enemy is not a good proc condition, because there are a lot of boss fights where they don't just give you the ability to kill the enemy. Well then, there's another thing about absorption. If you use Hell's Hollow, or I guess uh, Firm as a Great Mountain, you recover HP, and that HP recovery is actually counted into absorption's HP recovery count. Meaning that if you just recover HP using Hell's Hollow, you'll eventually get lots of strength from that. So that makes Absorption one of the greatest tier 2 pages, I guess. 
uh, somewhere in the object that tier I would put it just above vampirism. Absorption plus vampirism is really all you need in terms of uh, tier 2 pages on Gebra and those are the pages that I said are uh, making all the other tier 2 pages just invaluable. Now Vengeance. At the start of the scene, gain strength based on the amount of damage taken in the previous scene, one strength per 5 damage. I mean, it can be useful, but also per 5 damage, so you won't stack lots of strengths before you die. Uh, it's not just useless, of course, but it also works on only one librarian, and there is like a better alternative on Melchior's flow even, so I wouldn't put it too high up. Where's that alternative? Uh, I think it's... no, it's this. And I put... Vengeance just under that. Acidic Sludge is actually a test page from a force of terminality, and as, and as I already said, those tend to be pretty interesting. Inflict 5 erosion to all enemies. Enemies with erosion also gain bind equal to the amount of erosion they currently have. Erosion. As, at the end of the scene, or at the end of the scene, take damage equal to the amount of erosion and lose one stack. When taking a hit, take bonus damage, stack damage equal to the amount of erosion. It's like burn. But it it's better, and it's and it gives you the ability to deal more damage and stagger damage, and it gives bind, and it's just great. If you don't have just of nickel, you'll you'll go for this, and if you're not running Exodia, you'll also go for this. So in any way, it is a limited page, that's for sure. I like six slash a lot, and I also think that. The fact that they made the page art very similar to that one scene in Wonder Lab when uh, Sir Mighty Brass uh, j was just slowly going berserk after suppressing the reality is also pretty cool. And with that, we've ranked all of the pages on the Briar floors, or the middle floors as you might call them. These are the pages for the next video, which will be the last one covering the Adrenality pages of Library of Ruina. So yeah, this is the finalist version of the tier list. Is there a way to... yeah. You can kind of see the entire tier list. And these are the rankings I gave, I gave to the pages here. And yeah, thank you for watching, I guess if you like the video you can subscribe and hit the like button, and I am out.